recording my soccer universe. Uh, let's talk a little bit more Champions League. Today I have no classes. I don't know if you realized yesterday I had only half <laughs> my classes here um, because they broke and I brought them to repair. So I feel not blind, but it feels weird to be without classes. I have to wait for a little bit. Also weird was yesterday's Champions League. I, since I'm still in recovery, in a way, I decided I'm not gonna uh, watch at least too much of the games. Also, the big game, uh, Liverpool Bayern, was not on the zone. So, for that reason, you know, Lyon Barcelona is pro um, is not this uh, the glamour match. But on the other side, I actually watched the second half of the first half of that game. That's too complicated. The second quarter oh, from minute 22 on to halftime I watched. And my first thought was, why are the, is the jersey matchup uh, not very pleasant? Lyon in white against Barcelona in neon. It was really hard in a way to distinguish the two teams if you, if you just uh, had a quick glance onto the screen. Uh, I don't understand. I know Lyon's colors are also blue and red as an accent. So why cannot Barcelona play in their home jerseys? I think the little bit of red does not clash with uh, Lyon at all and would make for a much more pleasing color, color matchup. I was even thinking if Barcelona played in their flamingo jerseys, uh, also would also be too light. It, it, it was a weird color matchup, absolutely weird, and I hope we won't see anything like that again. So, as I said, I missed probably the best part of the game, uh, which were the first 20 minutes or so, where it was really both teams uh, playing forward, having chances. I think the biggest one was even by Leon Thierry, uh, where Ter Stegen cleared the ball uh, to the bar. Uh, but you know, Barcelona of course had more of the game and it became more the more the game progressed. Uh, the one thing I have to say is that there is something wrong with Barcelona. Their movement going forward is not as fluid as it was even two months ago. Uh, Dembélé, Messi and Suarez, especially Suarez, they are not connecting well, I have to say. Uh, I'm really... Um, Worried war, is this a uh, wrong expression, but I'm a little bit stunned that, I mean, Suarez doesn't find a, a step. I mean, whatever he does, the, every decision he makes, it's the wrong decision. Uh, and Messi by himself also needs, I always feel needs a little bit more help. So this is, if you're a Barcelona fan, a little bit worrisome to watch because that game yesterday, you should have won. Um, especially when in the second half it was all Barcelona, but you cannot find a breakthrough. It's always that um, Lyon was uh, defensively sound, but you know, it just didn't seem the right thing. And so it ended nil-nil. And then, so I watched that and I actually turned, turned it off and I said I'm gonna watch the highlights in the morning and I'm so crazy, I cannot, I cannot sleep well if this happens to me. Uh, it really is throwing me for a, a, a loop. So, but you know, I managed to wait until 6 o'clock to watch the highlights of the games. And I already had this feeling uh, that through the... You know, streaming. All the games will end goalless. This will be goalless. All goalless. Uh, because I somehow, uh, the commentator said that all first halves in the Champions League this season ended goalless uh, so far in the knockout stage. And from that, I deduced that Bayern also. Bayern and Liverpool are also goalless. So, and so it was. Um, it was a very robust Bayern team against uh, Liverpool trying to attack, but uh, Liverpool's having serious problems in defense, especially since Van Dijk uh, was suspended. And yeah, 
uh, Bayern had their chances, but you know, uh, really focused more on keeping the big three at bay, and they were also not clicking. Uh, it was very similar to the to Barcelona in a way. They also couldn't get it together. I think the biggest chance was Mane, uh, uh, where you know. <sighs> It seemed like the ball was not weighted correctly. He had to go back, turn around his own axis, and couldn't uh, and miss the goal just by a little bit. Second half, uh, same picture. Liverpool trying to get the breakthrough, but really not having too much um, thunder behind their attacks. Uh, Salah more or less contained, and so it also ends nil-nil. Now, I always say that nil-nil at home is not that bad of a result, especially if they are, the teams are evenly matched. I would say that the nil-nil uh, between Lyon and Barca uh, would tip the scales in favor of um, Barca, of course, because I don't see Barca losing at home to Lyon. Uh, Yes, if they play a draw, that could be troublesome because, you know, a nil-nil draw, mm, that I don't see. I see more like a 1-1 uh, there and that would actually put Leon through. But I do think that it's uh, Barcelona will still make it through. I mean, they have now three more weeks where, you know, maybe they can get direct together again. But as I said, Barcelona at the moment doesn't look that great. Liverpool-Bayern. Uh, again, you would want to say slightly, slight advantage for Bayern because you got the point, but you know, I still trust that Liverpool, especially if Bayern has to commit a little bit more going forward at home, uh, I think that Liverpool will not be unhappy with that result. Um, I honestly think it's this, this, this is not not until it's right on the knife's edge. I think that is a tie. I don't see this being a clear decision either, either, either way. Uh, and both teams are now kind of very much, how to how, how, how say, very experienced in Champions League play. I mean, Bar Bayern is there uh, since forever, and Liverpool also with the run to the final last year, they got a lot of experience uh, in their squad to make it through to the next rounds. And for that reason, I would say uh, it really is a very open tie. Uh, I personally hope that Liverpool goes through, but you know, I, at the moment you cannot really count Bayern out. I think this is very, very, very evenly matched. Um, quick on the Jersey matchup, I actually expected that. That one looked a lot like Liverpool against Ars Arsenal. Those mint green Bayern jerseys are something to be better forgotten. I actually would like whole world have understood or likely better if Bayern would have played in their dark jerseys. Uh, they look a little bit better and then you have a red against dark matchup which we already had when Liverpool beat PSG at the very beginning of the Champions League season. Well, we have two games today. After the squaring of the zero uh, last night I was actually more expecting this today. I mean, uh, we have Atleti against Juve, which to me in many ways screamed like a 0-0. Zero zero. Let's see. Let's see how it will go. I'm, I'm in a way looking for it. To me, this is... Atleti is also not that great and Juve uh, also doesn't look as safe as they have done these days, so I'll, I'll be interested to see that one. To me, this was kind of the almost a big name matchup. I know Bayern Liverpool steals the headlines, but for me, Atletico Madrid against Juventus, those two teams have been in the final lately. I mean, Liverpool has two, uh, Bayern is the one. Uh, it's, it's still. I would agree with most people if they say that. Um, Liverpool against Bayern is the bigger matchup, but uh, still. Atleti, Juve, there is something about it. It's, it screams defensive masterclass, but I don't quite see it. But still, I probably will watch that one. I don't want to have another sleepless night. I think it's better to watch the game. And yeah, Schalke against City. Uh, I think I expect a pretty straightforward game.
anyway let me know what you thought about yesterday's games as, as i said i didn't see much much of them and uh it seemed like there's not much to report there anyway as there were no goals and you know chances few and far in between give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day